What is going on everybody? My name is Halo Player and welcome back to yet again another video. Now what I wanted to do in this video is I got a lot of questions on my last video regarding PUBG free on PC. A lot of people asked how do you set up keyboard and mouse on the game? So now what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to do that. Exactly how I did it. Because um, it actually did it for me automatically, but I'm going to show you how to do it manually if it doesn't do that for you. Now, this is a mobile port to PC. So there are some things that are different with this version. Like, in order to move and aim, you have to click and hold and drag the screen. Just like if you were holding your finger on the screen and dragging it around on a phone or a tablet. So, um... I just noticed this, you can download this as well, boost game performance and get power ups that enhance. I'm probably going to do that, actually. But first thing, let's boot up the game. Um, this game supports battle, okay, just start playing. Okay, so we're going to load up the game here. I know I'm recording on my phone, I do have a screen recorder, but I just wanted to record it like this real quick for you guys so it's nice and easy. Okay, so if the game would boot up, boot up, now I can show you how to do this. There we go. Okay. So the game's booting up here. Alright, so just click guest. Obviously you guys can sign in with your Facebook if you want. I don't really use mine, so I just use guest. Loading, loading, loading. Okay. Alrighty. So, in order to set up keyboard and mouse support, if you guys look down here, there's a little keyboard here. Click that. Okay? It'll pop up this thing at the top. Okay? This right here, if you click this, um, if you click this, you can bring this over here. Actually, you don't really need to do this on this game, but you can if it doesn't work. But basically, this here, this would be for your movement. You can see I set it up for WASD, and I put that right over where the joystick, or the, um, if you were to push it on your phone, it would be right here to move around, that little pad. So I put it right over that, and that allows me to move. And then these, if you just click anywhere on here, a little window will pop up like this, and you can type a key in it, whatever you want to use um, to that. So I set up all mine. So if you guys can see, if I come over here, I have shift for sprint. I have the little um, squiggly line here, this one here, to open my map. Um, I have a whole bunch of different ones. Uh, I have E, I put E here to open doors so I don't have to click the open door button. I can just push E on the keyboard and open the door. Um, and I also set this up for um, driving as well. So if you don't want to have to click the buttons on the screen to drive, what you can do is if, once you're done with all these, like I said, to get all these little ones, um, all you have to do is literally just, like I said, let's see, come down here. Click on this little keyboard button. This will pop up, and you can use take one of these and uh, drag it right over to where the movement would be. And then you can click anywhere on here, and that will pop up one of these windows for you to click whatever key you want. So that's how you set up that. So then you just push save. Okay, so then for driving, what you wanna do is you wanna come over here to settings, and you want to go to vehicle and you want to do single joystick because what will happen is this is the default one you would have to click all these separately but if you do single joystick what will happen is when you go back into here this will act as your movement for driving and for walking as a character which is really good so you can customize this any way you want um, you can put any keys, anything you can use, you know, you could use 
You could use these keys to move. You could use these keys to move. If you're weird, you can use these keys to move if you want. <laughs> Which I recommend never using these keys to move. But anyways, yeah, that's how I have it set up. So that's basically how you do it. And these all are, you can go through these and check them out, whatever. Um, like this one is drag this button to movement control, which you can put over here, but this game automatically does it for you. Um, so I don't really use that. Um, and that one is... I don't remember this one yeah this is the shooting but you don't have to do that in this game either. or actually you can I actually should do that so if I put this left click the fire okay so I'll have to get in the game and show you guys so if I save go out here to solo start I'll show you guys exactly what I mean here. I didn't I didn't realize that you could do that. That's actually something new. That I didn't realize you could do. So I'll just full screen here. Actually I shouldn't have full screen because I want to be able to push that uh little keyboard thing down here. So we're just gonna load into the lobby real quick. Okay, so you guys can see WASD moving. I have that all set up. So if I come into keyboard here, you guys can see I have the WASD thing. Well, I'm gonna drag that down just a little bit better. So it's WASD is right over that. Then I have the shoot, which is gonna be here. I left click the fire on that. And I have space for jump. I have C for crouch and I have Z for um, prone or laying down on the ground. And then I have, you can see the little squiggly for the map, or M, you can use M as well. I have that set up as well, apparently. Shift for sprint. Um, yeah, I have all these keys set up. So if I save this, and I try to play with one hand here, but you can see I pushed a little squiggly. Oops. It's not working for some reason. It's not working. I think I, I think you have to click in here while you're in the plane. Um, but let's just jump somewhere random. I don't really care right now. I'm just gonna go. You can see using the keyboard here. It's not working for some reason. Oh, that's why I disabled the keyboard controls for some reason. There we go. I figured it out. I did keyboard controls disabled for some reason. That's that little pain. This little switch here, you have to enable that. And I had it disabled for some reason. Okay, so let's I'm trying to play with one hand here. Okay, so you can see sprint, then movement. In order to sprint, you have to stop moving, then push shift. And it auto sprints for you. You push it again to stop. Um, but if I come in here, again, let's set up this little shooting mechanism again. Drag that here, and then I push save, so it's... Okay. So you do have to click to shoot, which is kind of stupid. You have to click on the button, which is kind of dumb, but you can get used to it. I gotten used to it. Um, what is this? Oops, right back. action. Let's see if this works. Let's see what this is. Okay. That's really cool. So if you guys set up what I just did, if you come into here and you set up this little here and you drag it to your crosshair, which is that little dot on the screen, and then you save, what you can do is when you right click, you can actually move it. You don't have to hold it down. It's like real PC. That's actually really awesome. And then you right click again to freely move your mouse. So. If I right do this and then I, there we go. So you right click and then you can use the left mouse button to shoot. That's actually really awesome. I didn't know you could do that. So now this is like real PC now. That's actually really awesome. Hopefully you guys that helped. That's actually really cool. I didn't know that. This